How's the bacon then, Steve? How's the bacon, did you say? That's right. Steve Bruce has been appointed as West Bromwich Albion manager on an 18-month deal. Uh, he joins the Hawthorns uh, following the dismissal of Valerian Ishmael. I'm still laughing at that clip I put at the start. I mean... Yeah, Steve Bruce such an icon in the game, and we're going to get into that all in today's video. Uh, I mean, it's a yeah, an interesting move from Albion, and well, I think that to be made if we if we're completely honest. You know, a man who knows English football so well, and we're going to get into so many details about Steve Bruce, his win record, his record in the game, and, and all that jazz really, because he's um he's really uh, obviously been around for quite a while, and he's a manager that so many players have a story to tell about. And one of those players, actually, is Darren Carter, former West Bromwich Albion player who made his debut for Birmingham City under Steve Bruce. And I, I've, I've clipped uh, a podcast episode that I did with Darren, um, I think that was back in possibly October or something like that, um, where basically he gave his thoughts on Steve, gave his opinions on his man managerial style, and essentially has told us, in hindsight, what we can forget so what we can, uh, you know, learn about him and what we can kind of get from get from Steve Bruce's managerial attributes. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up later on in the video. But yeah, let's crack on with Steve Bruce because it's a really interesting appointment from Al. <laughs> Let's talk Steve Bruce then, because he's joined the club, of course, on an 18-month deal. We initially thought it might be six months because, you know, a short-term replacement in to Valerian Ishmael is kind of needed. Uh, Steve Bruce is a manager who's had endless and countless experience in the English game. And as I mentioned, we'll get Darren Carter's thoughts on him from a clip from the podcast. But Steve Bruce, uh, of course, will read out the statement that Albion gave regarding him uh, at, 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 uh, just just over 40 minutes ago when I'm recording this. West Bromwich Albion is delighted to announce the uh, appointment of Steve Bruce as its new manager. The experienced boss, who has four Premier League promotions to his name, has signed an 18-month contract at the Hawthorns. Assistants Stephen Clements and Steve Agnew, as well as coach Alex Bruce, join James Morrison and Gary Walsh in the club's backroom staff. Ron Gurley... Uh, Albion's newly appointed chief executive officer said Steve is a highly respected and experienced manager who has an impressive record of earning pro promotion to the Premier League. Um, his excellent man management skills, tactical nous and um, ability to hit the ground running were among the many reasons we decided he was the man to take us forward. Promotion remains our objective for this season and we are confident that with Steve leaving the club, we have given ourselves every chance of achieving that goal. Steve Bruce added... I'm delighted to have the opportunity to manage a club that has such great history and tradition. It is a club that I obviously know well from my time in the Midlands and I'm already relishing the challenge of taking it forward. I did not envisage I would turn to, return to management this quickly, but once I got the phone call from Ron, I knew I could not resist the challenge of getting this club back to where they want to be. I'm coming in with one aim and that is to get Albion to the Premier League. So interesting from Steve Bruce, of course, he, uh, the interesting statement being that final one there, that he's interested in taking Albion to the Premier League. I mean, he's got the next year and a half to do so. So realistically, is this a good appointment for Albion? In my opinion, yes. I think you'd be very, very silly to begin, even begin to start um, criticising this chance. Uh, you know, Steve Bruce has got such a big, engrossing history in the English game. Um you know, he has to stop the clean slate, slate for Albion fans. I, I don't know whether the reaction I've seen on Twitter is just marginal in comparison with the amount of people I've just happened to come across. But, you know, the, the slander he's getting already is ridiculous. You know, give, give the lad give the lad like he's not 61 years old. Give the guy a clean clean slate. Let him let him work from, from something from the ground up and let him almost build up the Albion fans' trust. You know, let's not slate him before he gets in. We all know about the torrid time he had at Newcastle and it was completely unjust, the sort of abuse that he received. Let's give the, the guy a clean slate and let's hopefully see him, uh, let, let's hopefully see him get the instant manager bounce that he's so good at having, really. Um, Steve Bruce, you know, massive figure in, in the English game. You know, great player for Manchester United back in the day. Not that I was around to see it, but over 300 appearances for them, over 200 appearances for Gillingham and over 120 appearances for Norwich City. You know, the guy has got bags of experience as both a player and a manager. I think he becomes the first manager to have managed all league teams with a B for Birmingham postcode. So you've got Birmingham City, you've got uh, Aston Villa and of course West Bromwich Albion uh, at B71. So, 
Yeah, I think that's interesting in itself. Obviously, he's not a manager that is massively loyal to clubs. I think, you know, he's managed, he's obviously managed both Sheffield sides and has also managed both North East rivals in Sunderland and, of course, um, Newcastle United. So, yeah, that's, that's interesting in itself. Of course, he's had a, a really great playing career and a good managerial career. He's got four promotions under his belt and he's also got himself a, a, a cup final as well under his belt. So, yeah, that's definitely interesting. But, of course, um, Two promotions with Birmingham City and two promotions with Hull City and, of course, an FA Cup runners-up medal to go with that as well. About Steve Bruce, but how did you find him as a, as a manager at Birmingham? Because, that, yeah, that's quite an interesting interesting thing. You're the first player I've had that's played under Steve Bruce. So what, how did you find him? Well, firstly, he gave me my professional debut, so I'll always be indebted to him for that. And... Um, like you say, uh, or I said earlier, it was obviously at West Brom in a, a local derby at the Hawthorns. Yeah. And so a big game as well to, to actually throw me in and, and actually start the game. Um, so we hadn't long been at the club when, when he, he gave me my debut. Uh, and he was great for me. Obviously, his reputation preceded him. You know, he hadn't long finished playing. Um, he'd had a couple of, I think, of roles before that. But um, again... You know, he's someone that I looked up to as a youngster and watching him all their Man United days. And um, and he was great, you know, encouraged me to uh, continue to do what I'd been doing for the reserves and the under-19s that he'd seen a few games in. Um, and, uh, and yeah, give me that that platform. Um, and he, obviously, if it wasn't for Steve Bruce, I wouldn't have made my professional debut. Then, obviously, we, we got promoted in the May uh, to the Premier League. Um, and, yeah, so it was, it was great, obviously, uh, to have a manager like that that gave you, firstly, give him a chance, um, but then obviously gave me a lot of advice along the way. Um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how he gets on, to be honest. You know, you look at uh, his, his managerial record, you look at his kind of uh, managerial win percentages, they're not ultimately fantastic. If you saw my tweet earlier on, on the Baggies podcast Twitter page, you'll see I put out some stats about him. So I'll just read those out now. This is his overall managerial record. Um a thousand games played, three hundred and seventy-six won, two hundred and fifty-four drawn, um, uh, and obviously the rest lost. Uh, one thousand two hundred and fifty-six goals scored, one thousand two hundred and thirty-seven goals conceded, thirty-seven point six of games won. Um, yeah, I feel like um, you know he's he's got a, the ability to to take Albion forward and give him the give him the the, the bounce that perhaps he needs. You know, the guy has clearly got a fantastic standard in the English game. He's got win records that are quite good around different clubs. Uh, but he's he's the kind of guy that will really um, will really relish the opportunity of of getting to dig through this squad as an experienced manager. One thing that a lot of people and myself would criticise Ishmael for is not having the uh, ability to to sort of get the best out of the players. He was, Ishmael, I think, was trying to force a system upon a, a side that just wasn't having any of it. And I think to do that when your job is at stake is completely, almost it's almost suicide, really. You're just essentially just, just killing yourself off, really, if you're doing something like that. But for me, Steve Bruce is the kind of manager, experienced manager, who's going to go into the dressing room. He's going to see this group of players. He's going to say, you need knocking down a peg or two. Uh, you need to be played in this particular position if I'm going to get the best out of you, and you need to you need to be doing this better. So I feel like Steve Bruce is, is an ideal appointment. Obviously, he'll meet the lads uh, if he hasn't already. Of course, we don't know that. Uh, we'll meet him at we'll meet him tomorrow, and so with the press uh, on Friday morning, they'll be able to have the chance to to pose any questions to uh, Steve Bruce. So we'll see about that. Obviously, uh, I've been on actually a, a show today, which is called the BBC. Uh, football news show I think it's called uh, which is on iPlay if you want to go and check that out I'd, I'd recommend watching that and I was interviewed about Steve Bruce and you know one of the questions posed to me was he worried about the negative style of football and negative sort of reaction he got in Newcastle and my answer was no it's a different division Newcastle needed to play uh, well maybe not needed but Steve Bruce thought the best way to play at Newcastle was to get uh, the ball forward, uh, obviously lump it forward, keep the make things ugly for the opposition and keep things interesting. So, yeah, I, I think that, you know, in the championship, it will be a bit of a different story. He'll see what this squad needs. He'll see what the sort of the sort of side we can expect to see from from Albion over the next couple of seasons or the season and a half, really. You know, he'll be able to root out what he needs to do, whether that's possession based football. I don't know. I'm sure he does have the capabilities to to provide that. Obviously, he's not the most sexy appointment unless that's the that's sort of your preference. That's completely down to you with Steve Bruce. But, you know, he's 
Uh, obviously not the most sexiest manager, and he's the kind of guy that you, you look at and you go, oh dear, you know, he's he's going to bring dull football. Maybe he won't. I, I have to remain optimistic at this point because he's likely to see this scene for what it is and try and get the best out of them. He won't be stupid. Uh, he's managed over a thousand games in English football. He will know how to get the best out of them, and that is exactly what Steve needs to do at West Bromwich Albion. I'm excited about, well, I say excited, I'm, I'm happy to have him at the club, and I think he could sort of provide that stable head that will kind of redo all the damage done from Ishmael's reign. He's got a really good record with a new manager bounce, so we'll see about that. Hopefully it brings us better times and hopefully it brings a lot of fans back to the Hawthorns as, you know, attendances haven't been spectacular of, uh, of late and, you know, there's been a lot of a toxic atmosphere and rightly so with Ishmael's reign uh, progressing in the way it did. Hopefully Steve Bruce's reign can be the one to, to bring uh, a lot of the fans back and I look forward to seeing that. Uh, in action when we play Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United, <laughs> doing a bit of Steve Bruce there. Uh, Sheffield United, one of Steve Bruce's former teams, will meet them uh, on Wednesday, next Wednesday. So that'll be exciting to see. Excited to see how Steve Bruce gets on in that game. What sort of line of he picks? There'll be a video coming hopefully over the weekend uh, about who Steve might pick in that first lineup and what we can kind of expect from his play style. But that's a reaction to Steve Bruce's appointment as West Bromwich Albion manager. He joins on an 18 month deal following the second of Valerian Ishmael. Uh, drop your comments and thoughts below. I'd love to hear them. Make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Um, are you calling me a liar?